Hello and welcome to lesson 13 of global development. Before we get into this session, I've got a couple of dingbats for you, which I'm sure you've all missed. So we're going to go straight in with the dingbat. Once you've got it, um, there's also a definition that you need to write down from it. Okay, so here's the first one. Okay, this one is the word geopolitics. That's a geode, minus the DE, geo. That's poly, the parrot, and these are ticks, geopolitics. Right, so geopolitics is the study of the way a country's size, position, etc., influence its power and its relationships with other countries. Okay, so geopolitics, quite a very, well, very interesting, I think, um, topic to actually be looking at. Uh, how countries interact with each other, all the political tensions that go on, why, for example, when uh, Russia poisoned people in the UK, did the UK not just storm through and, and cause all, all sorts of kind of issues in Russia? Um, you know, the geopolitics it really covers all of that stuff. Now, we're obviously going to be focusing on the geopolitics of India, um, but like I say, it is a fascinating topic in general and, and the relationships between other countries and how fragile or strong they are is something which I never get bored of looking into. So geopolitics, make sure you've got the definition written down and once you have, then we can do the next dingbat. Okay, I'm going to reveal it now. This is the tilting triangle, okay? Tilting triangle. And by the way, if you've never tried ting stuff is so nice like grapefruit fizzy drink it's really tasty and um, so the tilting triangle is the name given to the geopolitics the specific geopolitics between china india and pakistan okay so the tilting triangle is the relationship between china india and pakistan in terms of the geopolitical relationships okay so make sure you've got that written down as well always good to use and include this in um, essays if they're asking you about geopolitics okay um, and one more for you. If you get this one, I'll be amazed. But um, this is uh, another specific geopolitical relationship relating to India. I wonder if you can get it. All right, this one is called the Tin Bagger Corridor. Um, tin Bag Ha Ha Corridor. <laughs> I mean, it's terrible, that one. Sorry about that. And this is the geopolitical relationship between India and Bangladesh. Okay, India and Bangladesh. So you've got India's relationships between China and Pakistan, Bangladesh as well, although uh, you don't necessarily need to go into that one. And we do actually focus on another relationship that India has with someone in the world, uh, which is much closer to home, uh, which I'll talk a bit more about when I set up the task. So today's task, and this is today's title, so make sure you write this down, is geopolitics. Uh, and what you need to know by the end of this session is how geopolitical relationships, so India's relationship with other countries, has affected its rate of development, has improved it or maybe hindered it. Okay, so once you've got the title and learning objectives written down, I'll explain the task, which is really going to last you the whole session today. So, um, India's geopolitics um, and its relationships with other countries are incredibly important to its development and, and how India has um, you know, related to and, and been kind of connected to uh, Pakistan, China and Great Britain specifically actually um, is something which I would like you to research into and, and, and that's something which is fairly straightforward but also very interesting. Now there's going to be a lot of articles that you will find about this that go a bit over your head. Um, the first thing is not to panic, you don't need to know this in so much complexity um, that you would have to do a, like a degree level dissertation on it, all right? You just need to know really how the relationships between India and Pakistan or India and China, how they've affected India's development, okay? So for example, India is a British colony. So a former British colony means that India and UK trade quite regularly um, and that has helped India um, basically import and export certain goods because it's already got a trading partner in the UK, in Britain. Um, and, and that's one example. So the good news for you is that um, I don't want you to go into so much detail uh, and the detail that you need is actually just presented in the book. In fact, to even more detail than you might need. So pages 218 and 219, which are both scanned and in, uh, available on Office 365 under Lesson 13 of uh, Development, um, you can literally get all your information from there. So. Pages 218, 219 is where everyone should start. 
But because I find this very interesting, and I think this is something which um, you know some of you might, there are also extra little links here, the YouTube videos that you can see there, that you know the links that if you can try and either type these in or whatever, that will extend your knowledge a little bit more. So you can maybe add a little bit more depth and, and detail to your notes in this particular part of the topic. Um, and again, all that's going to do is just help develop your understanding. Now, if you click on any of those links and you're like, what on earth is this about? Just use the book, stick to the book, done. Okay, don't don't stress yourself. Okay. Now I've mentioned the Tin Bagger Corridor as well, which is the India and Bangladesh relationship. That you don't need to know. I mean, there'd be more than enough um, to write about if you got an eight marker in this, for example, about Pakistan, China, and, and Britain. Um, without having to add in Bangladesh as well. But again, if geography is maybe something you're considering going on to A-level, um, it's also worthwhile you may be doing a bit of research, or if you're just generally interested um, in, in geopolitics and how India's political kind of connections with Bangladesh have, have shaped its development in certain ways. But the focus really needs to be on India's relationship with Pakistan, China, and as a, a British colony, um, and following that as, a, as an independent nation. OK, so I want things about disputes, you know, arguments. That's the other thing about geopolitics. There's beef. OK, it's juicy. So um, any disputes that have occurred between India and the, those other three countries, Pakistan, China uh, and Britain, um, but use the book pages first and foremost, which are very nicely sectioned out into subheadings for you. OK, but the key is you are linking it to India's development. All right. OK, that is the entire task for this session. All right. So once you've got the resources, plow on and use as much time as you need to, you know, the region of about 50 minutes. You know, it's plenty of time to do full research on this and make sure you've got a full complement of notes. All right. I will see you next time for lesson 14. Thank you very, very much for listening um, and good luck.